Brilliance Audio presents The Stranger by Harlan Coben. Performed by George Newbern. The Stranger didn't shatter Adam's world all at once. That was what Adam Price would tell himself later, but that was a lie. Adam somehow knew right away, right from the very first sentence, that the life he had known as a content suburban married father of two was forever gone. It was a simple sentence on the face of it, but there was something in the tone, something knowing and even caring, that let Adam know that nothing would ever be the same. You didn't have to stay with her, the stranger said. They were in the American Legion Hall in Cedarfield, New Jersey. Cedarfield was a town loaded up with wealthy hedge fund managers and bankers and other financial masters of the universe types. They liked to drink beer in the American Legion Hall because it was comfortable slumming, a way to pretend that they were salt-of-the-earth good old boys, like something in a Dodge Ram commercial, when they were anything but. Adam stood by the sticky bar. There was a dartboard behind him. Neon signs advertised Miller Lite, but Adam had a bottle of Budweiser in his right hand. He turned to the man who had just sidled up to him, and even though Adam already knew the answer, he asked the man, are you talking to me? The guy was younger than most of the fathers, thinner, almost gaunt, with big, piercing blue eyes. His arms were white and reedy, with a hint of a tattoo showing beneath one of the short sleeves. He was wearing a baseball cap. He wasn't quite a hipster, but there was something of a wonk attitude coming off him, like some guy who ran a tech department and never saw the sun. The piercing blue eyes held Adams with an earnestness that made him want to turn away. She told you she was pregnant, right? Adam felt his grip on the bottle tighten. That's why you stayed. Corinne told you she was pregnant. It was right then that Adam felt some kind of switch go off in his chest, as if someone had tripped the red digital timer on some movie bomb and now it had started to tick down. Tick, tick. Do I know you? Adam asked. She told you she was pregnant, the stranger continued. Corinne, I mean. She told you she was pregnant and then she lost the baby. The American Legion Hall was loaded up with town dads sporting those white baseball t-shirts with the three-quarter sleeves and either baggy cargo shorts or perfectly no-assed dad jeans. Lots of them wore baseball caps. Tonight was the fourth fifth and sixth grade boys lacrosse draft and A-team selections. If you ever wanted to witness type A's behaving as such in their natural habitat, Adam thought, watch when parents get involved in their own offspring's team selections. The Discovery Channel should film this. You felt obligated to stay, am I right? The man asked. I don't know who the hell... She lied, Adam. The younger man spoke with such conviction not just as though he knew for certain, but that, at the end of the day, he had Adam's best interest at heart. 